Hello and welcome to News Click. The spinning mills in Tamil Nadu are going through a large crisis. The industry had even resorted to a strike to reiterate the demands to the state government and the union government. To discuss more about the challenges faced by the industry, the lack of order, and the subsequent impact on the industry, we have with us Dr. Venkatachalam, the chief advisor and the founder of the Tamil Nadu Spinning Mills Association. Welcome, sir. So to begin with, what is the role of the spinning mills in the textile industry and what are the serious issues you are facing right now? Spinning mills are the, uh, it's a, in the value chain of the textile industry, spinning mills are the fundamentals. They are converting the cotton into yarn and the yarn so spun, what we call it as spun. The spun yarn is being marketed to, for various requirements of making it into ready-made garments, home textiles, Madhups and lot of uh, other value chains of the industries are following. It is the main raw material and it goes through various process in every area like processing, dyeing, the compacting and uh, there are uh, tailoring. So this is the main mother industry that is feeding the yarn to various requirements of the society whereby Depending upon the requirements of the society, the yarn is being uh, made into various products and finally it goes to the consumer's requirement. So this is the capital intensive industry and also a power intensive industry where we employ heavy uh, uh, labor forces and also the uh, capex involved in the spinning industry is too high when compared to the other value chains of the textile industry. So that way we are capital incentive both and also in the labor intensive side also we are incurring even the heavy expenses and investments on the spinning mills. So we convert the cotton, what we receive from the field and ginning factory into quality yarn and we supply it to the requiring industry according to their uh, specifications and requirements. We are producing yarn for all types of other textile value products uh, which will be converted according to the consumer needs and according to the country's needs wherever it is getting exported. So this is the role of the spinning mills. Spinning mills even had to uh, strike work for the past several days. Uh, so what is the reason behind the uh, strike and what are the uh, setbacks you are facing right now due to the lack of orders from India and others, others other part of the country? As far as the domestic uh, situation is concerned, we don't feel much troubles. So what happened is, depending upon the entire world is depending upon the India and other certain countries for, for their clothing needs. So most of the industries in uh, India, they are doing, uh, they are set up their business in such a manner that they would be 100% uh, export oriented or otherwise to a major extent, they will be diverting their product, product only to the foreign countries through export methods. So if some 40% is reserved for the domestic needs, another 60% will go for only for the export needs. There are no big spinning mills in years. There are no big spinning mills in uh, Europe, European countries like that because uh, such kind of large labor force and power for them is difficult to manage and they are running it to the third world countries. So most of the spinning mills are set up here in India uh, where with an objective of making exports to happen and few of them will also supply their products only for the domestic needs. While there are no much uh, difference seen in the domestic demands, the entire international demand has come down. So we are unable to make our product uh, exported. When compared to the figures of 21-22, 22-23 was only the exports have happened only uh, 50% and another 50% has completely dropped. So this 50% uh, is also being shared by other nations like Bangladesh, Vietnam, China, and wherever the textile concentration is there. So because of the free trade agreements, what we call this FTA, some of the countries are advantageous than India in quoting their price to foreign countries. So accordingly, they get the orders to show immediately. And uh, Indian Textile products are a little bit uh, slowly market, except for the quality and the uh, timely dispatch of goods, India has lesser advantages in, uh, in exports. So the, the product, the power is too high, 
the labor labor wages are too high in in, uh, in india and the processing cost and everything is high in india it is almost uh, uh, compared with bangladesh is very difficult where the power cost is low their labor cost is also low the government is providing lot of incentives for such industries here there is no incentive available for the spinning mills in india or on the, even on the other textile industries in india except uh, there are small small benefits uh, announced by the government of india so because of the demand that is being uh, uh, going down slowly slowly there is a demand recession in the recent times and uh, when the yarn is not getting marketed over there in any of the uh, areas yarn directly as yarn exports will also go that has come down so the yarn after conversion into ready made garment or fabric or otherwise like a bed linens or like a home textiles or made ups like that that demand has also come down so nobody is buying the products from mostly from india so that is because of it we are also suffering sir you uh, the uh, spinning mills in tamil nadu are uh, very large in number around uh, 48 to 50% of the spinning mills in india is located in tamil nadu so yeah. what is the impact of this on the uh, industry primarily and on the uh, people who depend on this spinning mill in the spinning mills for employment so what have happened after the covid uh, uh, covid 19 period which we experienced during 2022 there was a demand surge happened immediately all the international countries were uh, bouncing upon india to buy their products buy the products from india to uh, fill up their supermarkets and all and so we earned a little profit during the period from uh, 2022 somewhere up to somewhere somewhere around 6 to 8 months we have earned good profits also because of that profit even though losses are happening nowadays we are able to manage everything till this month but uh, beyond july i think that no spinning mill will be able to uh, stop its closing for any reason once a spinning mill is stopped means it will have varied effect on every uh, every stratum of the society more particularly the labor force will be have to face layoff or otherwise they have to go out and their earnings will be completely stopped and coming to the government area all the gst all we are paying on yarn fabric everything that revenue will go will not happen to the government what we pay high power charges to electricity board that will immediately stop so the either way in the entire trading activity comes to a halt both the government and both central and state government and also the employees dependent on such industries and also the spinning mill management which are uh, which have borrowed heavy loans from the banks and that all will become npa so that will create a great socio economic crisis unless otherwise the things are addressed right at this sprout in spite of our alarming notes and alarming representations given to various ministries both in government both the government levels so otherwise the spinning industries will if they once they are made to npa again to bringing back to the normal status is very difficult they will all leave the industry and they will close down and whatever loans whatever infrastructure they are available and pledged with the banks the banks will take away so this is not a good sign for the economy uh, uh, in india so that the entire economic conditions will go completely to a different level and the social impact of it will also by <clears throat> earnings lost by the employees of around uh, 20 lakh people 2 million people means definitely they cannot uh, uh, find the jobs elsewhere so immediately so that will also create socio-economic issues in the society so this is how the address unless the governments come forward to address the plates of the spinning mills definitely it will affect the entire strata of all uh, uh, so societies like banks electricity boards governmental revenue gst income tax uh, so every manner it will be get up what are the demands of the uh, demands of the industry to the union government and state government you say you listed a lot of uh, setbacks and the, and the union the government thing... already we recommended to abolish the 11 percent import duty imposed on the cotton imports so that is one of the major demands so here in uh, india the arrival of cotton is slowly slowly coming down so i think that uh, the uh, by another uh, one month there will be no cotton available in India to buy the spinning mills to operate their 
uh, spinning activities. So when the cotton is becoming scarce in India, definitely they have to buy the cotton only from the available foreign countries. So this 11% import duty would be a constraint for them. So they, we, our request is to abolish the 11% import duty imposed on cotton. So they have to allow free imports as it was being done before 2021. It was introduced in 2021 only. Uh, uh, then uh, it continued for some time and thereafter they stopped it for a temporary period. Again, it was reintroduced from 1st November 2022 onwards. So we, we want to uh, remove the import duty on cotton, totally removed. And the second thing is, since because already we have tiled almost for 18 months and all, all our working capitals have gone out. So naturally it is for the banks, for their own interest to provide a restructuring facility for all these spinning mills to restructure their loans. And by providing a, 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 a policy which may enable them for quick financial recovery. And this is the time the banks would come forward for the rescue of the spinning mills. Accordingly, a restructuring policy has to be announced and all willing spinning, willing spinning mills which want to avail the restructuring policy with the moratorium, low interest and all other uh, parameters that should be introduced. As we are the extended value chain of the agricultural operations from cotton to cotton yarn, so naturally our interest rate should be uh, kept at par with the NABAD rate which is extended to the agriculture. So these are our main uh, demands made before the government of India. Coming to the government of Tamil Nadu, we want the power uh, tariff increased in uh, September 2022 to be withdrawn immediately till the industry comes to a normal position. And uh, we want all the charges increased to be again wound up and it should be kept prior to 10-9-2022 levels. And coming to the renewable energy area, the networking charges that they are imposing on the solar power plants, which are set up at our rooftops and all, we should be immediately withdrawn and we should be allowed to make our own energy on which we have invested our money and TNEB has nothing to collect and no rational behind it in collecting network charges. That should be immediately the system of collection of networking charges should be dispensed with. Coming to the other wind energy areas, they should allow the wind energy wind energy generators that is windmills to operate as usual normally and we want we want our energy to be adjusted against our consumption and accordingly as per the agreements we had with the tangent co they should allow us to comply with the conditions of the agreement without making us to find contempt petitions and creating a scene about the behaviors of the tangent co officials and all and uh, on the labor front of it so since the whole industry is struggling for its survival, uh, fixing a minimum wages at this stage for the employees of these spinning mills is not the correct time to say. And therefore, the government should draw the functions of the minimum wages committee constituted and let, let the committee uh, does its uh, operations once the spinning mills are coming to a normal situation. So just to defer it, they can defer it. This is the, on the financial, a power side and labor side demands what we have made it to the both government of Tamil Nadu as well as to the government of India. We have already explained to the government all our problems and uh, we still believe that uh, our problems will be addressed properly in a timely manner so that every day we are losing heavy amounts of money and how long we can withstand these losses is a big problem. So unless the government comes and supports it, it's going to be a big tragedy for the spinning mills, not only for the spinning mills, those employed in the spinning mills also it is going to be a tragedy. Banks will go almost uh, into a big problem and also the government will also lose all its revenue by way of taxes and other things. So in every segment of the society is getting unnecessarily disturbed. It is for the government being a policy maker to come forward to address these issues on a bar footing area uh, or otherwise. So it will have its own impact as I pointed out. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for the display team for having provided okay. an opportunity to vent my grievances to a larger public. And thanks a lot. And let us wait for the best of things to happen. Thank you so much.